an intruder! Over here! What's going on here? Professor Rookwood was right. The place is crawling with Victor Rookwood's lot and Ranrock's loyalists. They're working together all right, but it is not a friendly alliance. I'm sure you'll agree that we need to find a way in other than the front gate. Let's go. Tell him we looked. Well, if he asks. It does sound easier. Let's do that. You will. You can't stop Red Rocks Rebellion. could simply manage to bring me the child. We wouldn't need the child if you hadn't sent a dragon to retrieve the container I spent months and countless ministry favors tracking. You let them board the carriage. My options were limited once I knew it would be inconveniently beyond my reach of that infernal school. Have you not acquired enough power here? I allowed you to tunnel under my family home. Allowed me. You are here only because you are descended from a keeper and may at some point inadvertently become valuable. We had an agreement. I will share with you the power that I discovered if you locate the stores of magic that are yet to be found. So, unless you want another demonstration of my power, a power that you one day hope to wield, Bring me the child. We already knew they were after you. But now we know they're digging for stores of magic. And Ranrock knows about the Keepers. Yes, I caught that too. Professor Rookwood said that you'd understand more once you complete the next trial. Let's get into that castle. Any special words you want me to pass on to your mum? Quite conductive, oh, boy. <laughs> Defender. <laughs> Expulsion. <laughs> 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 Yeah! 
I'm gonna eat you. You haven't got a prayer. Confringo. Akio. Chris. Revelio. Akio. Revelio. I suppose that's the quickest. Is there something to those symbols on the walls? Goblin tracks. They're a step ahead of us. Let's see where they lead. This must be it. The store of magic and the source of Ranrock's power. It looks empty. If they've taken all of it, why are they still here? Ranrock said there's more to be found, and if he's right about that, it may or may not be located here. Wherever it is, we need to find it before they do. Where is that portrait? I heard something. I was hoping that was you. Professor Rookwood, the goblins and dark wizards who've overrun your castle are digging for stores of magic and have broken open some sort of container. No. Things are more dire than I could have imagined. If, as you told Percival, a goblin in his vault was wielding a powerful magic, then they have somehow learned. It cannot be. And, sir, they know you were a keeper. Ranrock used the term. This makes no sense. How did... We shall discuss this later. Right now, you must complete the next trial. Just tell me where I need to go. The power you stand to wield must first be fully understood. The trials will ensure that. Power without knowledge is dangerous indeed. In the wrong hands, we will simply have to outwit Ranrock. And my unfortunate namesake. Very well, Professor. Tell me where I need to go. I shall reveal the path. Professor Fig must leave you now. I would join you if I could. I shall await your arrival in the map chamber.
pillar is blocking the path. I'll need to move it.
possible to pull one of those blocks through the archway. Akio, Pindani and Leviosa. Akio, Pindani and Leviosa. Arrest the momentum.
What a relief. I am curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do come in. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father... These are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. What have you done? I took his pain. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you. You're back. And in one piece, no less. It is good to see you again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep the second artifact safe as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? What was the glowing strand that Isadora pulled from her father's chest? It was... pain. You will understand more about her actions as you complete the trials. 
I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of, well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well, and we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon. Natty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. When you have a moment, please stop by the Room of Requirement. Deke mentioned you might be interested in learning how to breed beasts. to teach you the exploding charm, Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, speak to me after class. I've been studying Salazar Slytherin's spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen uh, so that you can breed beasts. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room, one male, one female. Deke suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then, you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. 
Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Nice to see you, my young friend. than Hogsmeade. Ah. Hello there. Come on in. Plenty to look at here. Now I can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent! Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. never grows tired of the room's surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. Revelio.
On another adventure, are we? Oh, it's you! Just the person I need. Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after charms class. He's... he's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. Well... It is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb, and poof! His feet transfigured into beets! How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly! He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? Why was Mom Duke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granum Dale and his younger brother Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granum resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry? Sounds as if it might run in the family. But I would never intentionally curse my brother, not like Granum did. When their mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granum felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granum stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. How do you know it's safe? I don't want my feet to turn into beets as well. Oh, but the curse only applies to Marmaduke's descendants, as my brother so aptly demonstrated. That's why I need your help. You're unrelated to my family, so the curse wouldn't affect you. Why is your ancestor so well known? He discovered the properties of several magical herbs and plants. He also uncovered numerous types of flora. The wizarding world owes him a great debt. His work not only impacted the discipline of herbology, but also potion making. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you.
can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu power. Merlin trial when I see one. Revelio. Being an officer of the law in a quiet village like Hogsmeade is a pleasant job, I'd say. What do we have here? Hello, Hamora. Revelio. Still tails always made me Aloha Mora. Leviosa. I'd be terribly grateful if you could help me and my friend with a time sense of delivery. What do you have in store for me this time? Revelio. Huh. I'd take up her biology if it didn't involve so much dung. No 
my first employment. <laughs> What are you up to now? Oh, what needs doing, needs doing. Uh. Whatever my uh. cost, I console myself knowing that some soul uh. out there has a man. Rebellion! Revelio. Rebellion. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Dangerous if I'm not careful. Revelio. I know what that means. Merlin trial. <laughs> Merlin himself would be proud. Rebellio. Confirm. <laughs> There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. Well, my feet didn't turn into beats. That's a good start.
Lumos. A troll? You can't be serious. A sarcophagus. This must be Marmaduke. That should reverse the curse. Hopefully. Revelio. Well, Marmaduke certainly left behind more than plants. Samantha will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. I certainly hope it reverses the curse. I've always said that travel broadens the mind.
I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus just as you asked. I thought as much. I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal. No more beats. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. It wasn't too much trouble, I hope. Just a measly old troll. Nothing significant. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry. That's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course. I certainly would be. William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for what you did. Should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts that Master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story, and now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. <laughs> 